Hey, religious person. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You're welcome to your beliefs, but don't even think about trying to bring your beliefs into the public square. Your beliefs are not allowed. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard, and we are looking at Mr. B. Who is this guy? Not Mr. Beast. The guy's got like 4 billion followers and makes, you know, a million dollars a day or something. Uh, not him. A different guy. The guy you just saw. Let's look. Coming up next. All right, everybody, how we doing? Uh, good morning, good morning. I am doing a Proverbs series. Jump into that if you're interested. Uh, Proverbs, ancient wisdom that never gets old, is wonderful. We are doing a proverb each day. I've already done three. I'm going to drop the fourth one later on today. And yeah, look for that. Uh, I'm going to do those live. They're about 10, 12 minutes, not very long, but something that's just helpful and really, really applicable. I mean, Proverbs is literally the most pragmatic, most practical, most applicable book of the Bible. Uh, doesn't make it more important. Doesn't make it less important. Uh, we should use it and understand it. We should seek to do better with it and apply these things to our lives because so much there's so much overlap with these things in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, and so on and so forth. So it's very wonderful. I commend it to you. Uh, so jump in if you haven't watched. Go back and watch if you want or just stick around for your favorite proverb. Maybe that helps too. Uh, I know five, six, and seven are especially guys uh, dealing a lot with lust and of course rejoicing in the wife of your youth and this and that and fleeing the adulteress and, and so on. Uh, those are very good passages for memorization and learning, especially if you're trying to uh, flee internet pornography and that sort of thing. So very, very good there. But we're talking about Mr. B. You just saw him a moment ago. What is this guy? Who is this? Who is this guy? Well, um, let's play a little bit more and just see if we can kind of understand what's happening here. We're doing it. In today's tweet, Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science offers a tweet, ironically, with little reason and no science. The tweet says, we really, 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 three days later. Really, 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 really need religious people to stop believing that they're entitled to having their beliefs enshrined in the law. According to the Dawkins Foundation, religious people should be disqualified from having their beliefs influence public policy. But with religious people excluded, who then gets to participate? in the political process. Non-religious people like Richard Dawkins, perhaps? Well, that's convenient. This kind of thinking isn't just wrong, it's dangerous. But don't worry, danger is my middle name. Actually, it's Edward. All right, so real quick, uh, he's a believer, as you can probably already tell. Not an atheist, although at first glance, you may be like, look at this shaved head atheist, you know. But first, impressions might deceive you, right? Uh, I like to do different things on this channel, one of which is talking about cultural, thing, cultural things, church things, Big Eva, SBC. I am an SBC pastor for those who are just joining us. Uh, don't worry, we're not woke. And But I also like to talk about different stuff. This is kind of like long form uh, Twitter or Facebook, where you can have longer posts and talk about different things and give a defense for the hope that is in you. Ultimately, my goal is to proclaim Christ, to lift him up, make much of him, and to drag the feet of whoever to the fire of the gospel. That's being contramundum. So I'm Richard contramundum, Richard against the world. That's just Latin for against the world. But the whole impetus of the channel is for the world, because someone was against you. Someone was against me if you were a follower of Christ. Someone said, your worldview is not quite, quite square. They said, Repent and believe. Read this. What do you think about that? Who is Jesus? And so on. What is sin? And what is righteousness? What is hell? What is heaven? And these things. So I like to find different people. And uh, I have a pretty big community of people, both who watch as well as people who watch and also have YouTube channels as well. We've got a lot of Christian content creators that have cropped up in the last uh, couple of years, me included. And knowing about YouTube for a long time and just finally saying, I'm just going to take the plunge and do it. So I appreciate y'all for coming along for the ride. I just passed 500 subscribers very recently and uh, looking for a thousand. That way you can actually put ads in there and hopefully make a little bit of extra 
coinage and uh, that way I can buy some groceries for my children so they won't starve to death. Uh, <coughs> no, they're, they're eating right now, but just, just barely. So this is Mr. B, Red Pen Logic. Uh, this video is from about a year ago. I think he took some time off because um, he had some videos for a while and then they kind of they went away and came back. He's been doing a lot of shorts lately. But this, he goes on, he'll show TikTok videos and other things to respond. He's much more concise. So a couple things. I would commend him to you if you don't know him. Um, he's very concise. <laughs> much, I need to take some notes. Uh, he's very concise. He's also very calm, which is really nice. I get impassioned. And, you know, we all have different personalities. I'm not going to say he's right and I'm wrong or I'm right and he's wrong. We have our own personalities, our own desires. Uh, I, I personally don't like debates myself because I want to just talk and I can't sit and watch a debate. Other people can sit and watch a debate and participate. Now that's a chink in my armor. I can't, I can't do that. Thorn in my flesh. Uh, perhaps you have something similar where it's just, you're just not good at that thing, but you're better at this thing. Well, excel in that other thing and let's work on the things that we need to work on. But Tim here is, is a wonderful apologist. He has, again, very concise words He's very uh, calm and he, he's not afraid to talk about uh, the issues. So check him out. Um, here's another video that I just watched of his. Many people think Hebrews 11.1 1 proves faith is just wishful thinking. For example, atheist Dan Barker tweeted, if faith is the substance of things hoped for, then everyone who buys a lottery ticket should be a winner. So if you wish for something to come true, then it will come true. But this is not what Hebrews 11 1 teaches. When you actually read the context, you see faith is trusting God to faithfully fulfill his future promise because you have good reason to do so. An illustration might help. When I was a teenager, my dad offered to pick me up from a party. He said, Tim, give me a call when you're done and I'll come get you. The ride home was his future promise, the thing hoped for. Even though I hadn't received the ride home, I had faith it would happen. Why? Was it wishful thinking? No. I had assurance of a future promise, a thing hoped for, because I had evidence from past experience. In other words, I had good reason to trust my dad would fulfill his promise to me. That's what Hebrews 11 1 is all about. Um, yeah, so check him out. He's really good. He's very, he's again, concise and direct, but he's edified me a lot off and on over the last couple of years. He's been on YouTube for a while and I would commend him to you. For that so go ahead and check him out uh this is just a short video today i've just been meaning to address or suggest him and uh you know be a little more positive because you know there's just so much junk in the world we need more people supporting more like-minded christians out there so i hope this helped i hope this was fun uh go ahead and check out the proverbs later on today i'm going to be doing chapter four um, until then, be against the world, for the world. See you tomorrow. See ya.